Hello, welcome to this lesson in uh, engineering mechanics. We're going to now talk about free body diagrams. Now we, in truth, have been doing some free body diagrams uh, kind of without really telling you, uh, kind of mixed into some of the problems. Uh, basically a free body diagram is a drawing of the system that you're trying to analyze. But free body diagrams become a lot more important here in a minute because we're gonna start talking about equilibrium. Uh, when all of the forces acting on an object basically balance and the thing just kind of sits there, but we f have to solve equations and figure out what forces are acting on the object to keep it in equilibrium. So in order to do that, the very first step in almost every problem you're going to do in mechanics is going to draw a free body diagram. So I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about that, and I am actually going to write a few things down here. This will just take a second. Um, but it's important that you understand exactly what is expected of you, because a lot of times, um, a teacher, professor will ask you, hey, I want you to solve this problem and you must include a free body diagram. So what do they mean by free body diagram? Basically, it shows an object, or usually you're uh, studying an object that's hanging with ropes or cables or sitting on a ramp or something like that. But we show an object free, and I'm putting that in quotations, you'll see why in a second, from its surroundings. with all forces acting on the object. And, and a lot of this stuff is kind of common sense, but some of it really isn't. So we're going to get through it here in a second. But the bottom line is this pen right here, this, this marker, it's sitting in my hand, right? Now, if I hold my hand perfectly still and I don't move it at all, we would say, and we'll be talking in great lengths about this in just a minute, that this pin is in equilibrium or this marker is in equilibrium. That means that there is a force of gravity pulling on it. Even though it's not moving, the gravity is still acting on this pin. It doesn't go away. It's still there. But that force of gravity is perfectly balanced by a force that's coming from my hand. My hand is pushing up into that pin. Uh, and so, because if I, were, if I weren't, were not pushing up, then the pin would be able to, to freely fall, right? But since gravity's pulling down and my hand is pushing up on this pin, those forces are equal and opposite. They're perfectly balancing so the pin doesn't actually move anywhere. Now, if one of those forces becomes unbalanced, like if I start pushing up with more force than gravity, then I can lift it up. Or if I reduce the force on my hand, then gravity will be able to overcome it and pull it down. That's kind of a, a one second primer in equilibrium that we're going to be talking about. But studying how this pin sits here is actually what mechanics is largely about. We want to figure out what's happening to this thing as it sits here. And we know that gravity is acting down and we know that the force of my hand is pushing up. But typically the first step is